Coming up on Around Kern County, there's a new program working to combat homelessness in our community. We're giving you a look at the M Street Navigation Center safe camping and parking space. And the 4th of July is right around the corner. We're sharing safety tips from the Kern County Fire Department when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. There's a new tool helping combat homelessness in our community. Just last week, Kern County and the Community Action Partnership of Kern opened the M Street Navigation Center Safe Camping and Parking Space. This program offers an alternative to people experiencing homelessness who are not yet ready to enter into a formal shelter. People who are living in public spaces now have a place they can safely stay where they will receive life-changing services and basic necessities like food and showers. The goal of this program is to move safe camping and parking residents into the M Street Navigation Center when they're ready so that they can receive the treatment they need, learn job skills, and attain permanent housing. Our goal is to move people off the streets. Um, it, it's plain and simple. Um, we not only have uh, you know, those people who are um, in unsafe situations, uh, untenable situations, uh, they, they, they need to be helped. Um, and the negative impacts of people living on the street with the trash uh, and everything else, um, there's a real need to move these people out of the public spaces and into facilities. This safe camping and parking space is part of Kern County's strategic mitigation plan to reduce homelessness. And right now there are people already living in both the safe camping and parking space. Since M Street first opened in 2020, it has served nearly 1,200 people. For more information about M Street and this new program, please visit capk.org. If you can believe it, we are nearly a week away from the 4th of July and the Kern County Fire Department is working to make sure our community celebrates safely. In most areas of Kern County, legal fireworks go on sale July 1st. They can be purchased from a permitted fireworks booth and have the California State Fire Marshal seal, which looks like this, and they will also be labeled safe and sane. Here are some tips on how to use them in the safest way. Supervise children around fireworks at all times. Only adults should use fireworks. Only use fireworks outside and never light them near dry grass or other flammable materials. Always read the directions and warnings on fireworks. If it's not marked with the contents, directions, and a warning label, do not light it. Also, light fireworks one at a time and never modify, point, or throw them. Make sure to have a bucket of water and a hose or fire extinguisher nearby. Do not dispose of fireworks until they are completely cool. And as always, in case of an emergency, please call 911. From the fire department standpoint, we want people to be safe when they are enjoying certain holidays. We as the fire department continue to encourage individuals, go to the public events. You're gonna see an incredible show. But if individuals choose to light fireworks themselves, to do so thoughtfully. So we wanna encourage everyone to return illegal fireworks to the fire department. They can do so. We're just gonna be happy to get those fireworks off the street. If you are someone that is noticing a lot of illegal activity, that could be using storage sales of illegal fireworks, we have an illegal firework reporter survey on our website, kerncountyfire.org. We have many individuals that say, well, I reported something, I didn't see a fire engine. You will very likely not see a fire engine to investigate an illegal fireworks call. Uh, people see a fire engine, it's very conspicuous. So we try to do things discreetly, unmarked vehicles. This year, we're even going to explore some new possibilities and we're excited about that. As more information becomes available, we'll let the community know. The Kern County Fire Department has a zero tolerance policy for use of illegal or modified safe and sane fireworks. 
This is punishable by a $1,500 fine. A $1,500 citation will also be given by KCFD for using safe and sane fireworks outside of permitted times. As a reminder, no fireworks of any kind are permitted in mountain communities. You can turn over illegal or legal fireworks year round to any Kern County fire station, no questions asked. For more information, please visit KCFD's Fireworks Safety and Reporting website, youlightitwewriteit.com. This week, First District Supervisor Philip Peters hosted a resource fair in the Kern River Valley to showcase county services and programs available to residents. Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, Animal Services, Public Health, and Public Works were just some of the departments who joined Supervisor Peters to ensure Kern River Valley residents know how to access the vital services available to them. Supervisor Peters held this event to ensure members of his district had the resources necessary to meet their needs. So this event's really important, I think, because a lot of uh, the constituents in the Kern River Valley don't always have the same access that uh, people, you know, in Bakersfield or the more uh, uh, larger cities do to resources. So to get those resources to come up here, the departments to come up and uh, connect them with whatever they might need and then help direct them for whatever issues they're having is something very important to this area. And uh, I was really glad to see so many uh, county departments show up and, and uh, Help, help get those resources connected to the right people. Earlier in the day, Public Works and the Kern River Valley Heritage Foundation celebrated the completion of the Hot Springs Valley Preserve multi-use greening project. This quarter of a mile of new multi-use path with native landscaping is now open for Kern River Valley residents to enjoy. And we're ending today by spotlighting our inaugural Launch Kern Day event. This is part of our continuous improvement initiative based on the principles of Lean Six Sigma. Launch Kern empowers our employees to change the way government works by improving their work environment, saving taxpayer dollars, and enhancing services to residents. This week, nine teams of county employees gather to find solutions to problems within their work environments in order to make services better and faster for customers. Chief Administrative Officer Ryan Alsop, Executive Director of the Kern County Taxpayers Association, Mike Turnipseed, and District 4 Supervisor David Couch judged this friendly competition and selected a winning team. However, all of these projects will be implemented within their various departments as our county strives for efficiency and excellence within our workforce. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our submit a story form. We'll see you next time.